Uh, today's video is a video for those of you dealing with neck and shoulder pain, uh, mainly neck pain. And we're gonna show you a few trigger point releases using a lacrosse ball. You can certainly use a tennis ball or a golf ball or something like that. But the cross balls just have enough give in them and they're a really good size to get into those nasty little trigger points around the neck and shoulder that are giving people shoulder and neck pain. So I'm gonna show you a few releases here. The first release we see here is for the upper trapezius, levator scapula, which attach onto the upper border of your shoulder blade or scapula. Place the ball into the trigger points or the sore spots in those areas. You can use some motion if you like, otherwise you can just have direct pressure. If finding a purchase on the door is no good, you can use the floor as well. The second one is for the scalene triangle, three muscles that attach into the neck from the collarbone and ribs. And we use our arm behind our back to put those muscles on stretch and just use direct pressure with this one to release the scalenes. The third one we see here is the pectorals and they bring our shoulder forward and down creating some neck and shoulder pain at times. This is below your collarbone and we want to put the arm behind our back again and stretch. You can use your head and neck to stretch further with that muscle, just waiting for that trigger point to release and relax. The fourth and last is for the middle trapezius and rhomboids that attach onto the medial border of our scapula. And we're using the door again here. You can also use the floor if you're finding it difficult on the door. And these muscles get very tight and cause middle back and neck pain. You can use your shoulder and scapula movement there to release, or you can just have direct pressure in this circumstance. So four releases there that can help you alleviate your neck and shoulder stress and strain. Uh, as always, you need to check with your practitioner to see if these are safe and effective for your individual case. This is not medical advice, merely some health advice to help you through your days. I hope you find it useful. And if you do, leave a comment below and let me know how you went with these.